We're talking to Connor Hampson. Connor, thanks for joining us. Um, I was saying to the other lads about you know what a great couple of weeks it's been with the playoffs and now signing new contracts, and that applies to you. But maybe it applies to you even more because one thing that came out of the playoffs was um, more than once the manager saying he's never seen you in better physical shape. Yeah, lockdown, uh, it was either one way for me. Um, it was either sit there and do nothing or get myself out, get running, watch what I eat and come back hopefully with the playoffs in mind and, and be in good shape so for me that was all I wanted to do was to come back be in good shape so I could you know help the lads get on and win win playoffs win promotion I mean how, how difficult is that though because when you you know under normal circumstances you you'll come in and you'll train with the lads and that that will all be set out and you'll be with the lads and that, that's part of the, the routine but mm -hmm. when you're on your own and you've got to be disciplined about following a particular program set out for you how, how difficult is that yeah definitely I mean obviously with the lads it's easier because you've got people pushing you um at home it was just me and my missus so it did get me out of the house so I was fortunate in that way but you know road running that's not it can be boring at times can't it you can't dress it up any other way so uh to get out and to to be running is that's what we do that's what we needed to do so um, all the lads did that as well. It wasn't just me. Everyone came back in better shape than what they they had previously in comparison to the pre-season we had. Uh, we smashed the yo-yo test and that put us in good physical shape for solves and uh, the gaffer to plan sessions for us. So it was paramount that we came back in good shape. Yeah. Can you give us an idea of what the, your, your routine would be then during lockdown? With I mean, was it was it pretty repetitive or was there a little bit of variety? It was very repetitive. So it would be waking up in the morning um, and then going for a walk, just probably like three to five K, just getting some steps in. Then having my breakfast, which, uh, you know, a bit of porridge or something like that. But then I'd end up doing another workout later on. Either it might be a run, might be a, I borrowed some weights off Ryan as well. So it was, it was a, a, a variety of things that I was doing, but it was very, it, didn't alter much over the course of the week, if you if you get me. So, um, that kept me going. Yeah. And you said about you know you, all the lads came back in great shape. What what are your memories of that first training sh uh, uh, session uh, back from the point of view of seeing how ev how fit and great shape everybody was, but just being with the lads uh, again uh, as well. What, what what are your memories of? Well, that? I kn I knew we'd be in good shape because obviously we had to post the runs. We had, we all had to we had to do them because the gaffer. Uh, set us up on some app and we had to send them to him so I knew we'd be in good shape with that um, I thought we would be worse off in regards to football but that didn't quite happen I didn't see the standard the standard didn't really drop too much um, just needed to find you know a bit of sharpness when we got told we was coming back in it was you know I was I was buzzing to be fair because obviously not seeing the lads for a while just been speaking to them on chat um, so you know we, were, we, are, we are a close close knit group um, so to get back and see all the lads and sort of that banter that you've that you've missed out on in so long with everyone, um, it was fantastic to be around them again. Yeah. But I mean, what, was it just the hard work? Do you think, Connor? Was it was the the more to it the fact that you were you you I mean you really were at it throughout the p playoff games? It was very all, all the team played well for to, to win three out of three was mm -hmm. fantastic. But you, you you know you really did seem to be absolutely on top of your game. Yeah, some fantastic results, and I mean. You know, I think everybody was nervous come that Chester game because we'd not played for so long. We didn't know how it was going to go. We didn't know what they were going to be like. Um, and then going on to the York game, I thought, you know, they were probably favourites at home, full time outfit. They'll have been training for 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 a while, although we had been been back in. Um, so again, a little bit nervous, but I think we've just got confidence in each individual in the changing room to know that we can go out there and perform. Um, and obviously, the more important the game, you probably rate, you do raise your game. I would say if it's more important, you know, like your playoffs or your FA Cup games, say at, at Portsmouth that the, that the lads played. Um, so, I think you will raise your game if the stakes are higher. And, and of course, there's, there's competition for places in all areas, including fullback, because yourself and Dens and uh, and Andy White, mm -hmm. three quality fullbacks for two places. Yeah, Keeps obviously. Toes. I saw myself out of the side for numerous weeks uh, weeks last year. I mean. I didn't. I came on against Portsmouth, but Whitey and Den started, and you know I couldn't fault the gaffer because Whitey and Den's were in, they were unbelievable. To be fair, and uh, I think people have said that that's the best football they've seen Den's play. Um, so yeah, I just had to be patient, you know, and bide my time. And unfortunately for Den's, he wasn't able to participate in the playoffs, but that gave me an opportunity then to come in, um, and you know, grab it with two hands, hopefully.
You wonder, wonder sometimes whether um, fullback was always your position. I'm thinking of the the York game, the second goal. That was a bit of outside left play, wasn't it, from you before <laughs> before the cross? Did, did you play further forward? Uh, as a lad? I have previously played further forward. If, uh, for example, at Stockport, maybe a couple of times I did play further forward, um, but predominantly I grew up as a as like a centre midfielder. Um, and then when I was 17, I got put to left back, but I stayed there for, you know, all, all my career, basically. Um, I do enjoy going forward. I think that's that's what I, en- I do enjoy that. But, you know, you've got lads like Mooney and uh, other people, Yusuf, that we've just signed, um, that, you know, probably get that, that spot ahead of me. So you, you've got to, obviously got to defend as well. Has that always been part of your nature, ready to put a tackle in? Yeah, my dad will say I'm more defensive-minded than what probably I should be. Um, he he says to me, you know, you get the ball and just just get at him, just go. Obviously, probably being that defensive-minded player, it's a, I'm not reluctant to do it, but it's not my first thought is to get the ball and go for it quick straight away, run forward. Um, so, yeah, maybe I, I should listen to him more often. <laughs> Always listen to your dad. Um, <laughs> next season, um, a lot to look forward to, particularly fixtures, local fixtures, you know, Mac. But for, for from your point of view, maybe Stockport County would be a, a big one for you. Yeah, I mean, Mac, Mac will be the biggest one, I think, being being a derby. You know, there's been banter already on Twitter and uh, elsewhere that, that I've seen. Um, so that should be a good game. I don't think I've ever played at Mac either. Um, obviously, in regards to Stockport, you know, they've they've had a, quite a go this year from what I've seen, signing some players. And I imagine that they'll be right up there. So I can't see why, you know, we've got nothing to fear. We've just got to go there and play our game and hopefully we can imprint that on them. Obviously, a lot to celebrate. I mean, uh, you, you, you've got a birthday coming up, haven't you, in about a week's time? Yeah, a week Can't on, a week today. I think yeah, I think is. so. Yeah, I think today. it is, yeah, 28. So, you know, fo- in football terms, actually, you're prime, isn't it? Apparently so. I feel yeah. like I'm getting old, though. <laughs> <laughs> just, you've just been speaking to Dens a few minutes ago. You've got a bit to catch up yeah, on. Yeah, I do. No, yeah, apparently that's, that's your prime. I mean, I'm feeling good. Probably in the best shape I have ever been in. Um, you know, just got to keep going, I think, and hopefully see where next year takes us. But you're looking forward to the challenge of playing the, at, the, at that uh, top top level. Definitely. Have you played in the National League before? No, I've never yeah. played in that league. And, you know, that's what I've always wanted to do, play at the highest level I can. Mm. You know, it's not about money. It's about playing at the highest level that you can. And this will be, no doubt, the toughest test that we'll have. I mean, for me personally, it'll be travelling. It'll be work combined with that. So it's going to be hard. But, yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And hopefully, you know, we, we can do well next year. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. Um, I said to Tony Thompson, he, he's up at the crack of dawn for work and, you know, some of these long away trips, you might not even be back home by then. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're a teacher, aren't you, away from football? Yeah, that's correct. Kind yeah. Of, yeah. So uh, yeah, is it going to be a problem for you? Well, hopefully not. I mean, uh, I'm going to have to talk to the head teacher, but I think, you know, previously, if I've had to have, you know, half days or something, they've been really good with me. So, um, you know, I just have to put that in maybe a week or two, two in, in, in advance. Um, but yeah, like Tom, I was, he, you know, I'll be in work at quarter past seven. Um, I only live around the corner, so it's not too bad for me. I can pop home maybe before training or before I might stay if we're at home on a Tuesday. Um, but yeah, it, like it will be tough, but I'm I'm up for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been in, it's been very much in the news the teaching profession, hasn't it, of late? I mean, you've got, you know, you're you're kind of um, it's challenging under, under current. Uh, conditions really isn't it is it what, what year do you teach uh year four teach so right. um they're eight and nine yeah. i haven't i'm not gonna be honest i haven't seen a kid for about six months right so other other staff members have been in mm. i've been at home working working from home sorting other things out um but it's going to be a challenge obviously with covid in place we've got mm. loads of different protocols that we've got to abide by um so just trying to make sure that we enforce those and make the kids safe and ourselves safe, really. Yeah, I was going to say, the, the, you know, it's not just teaching the kids and, and being with them, which is going to happen soon, isn't it? You're back quite soon. It, it's presumably be the, the whole school layout will be completely different, will it, with social distancing? and Yeah, that's the thing. So it's going to be um, bubbles and stuff like that. So you, you're within your year groups. Um, obviously, your equipment that you use, uh, each child's got their own equipment that they can use, Um where the teachers got to stand, all sorts of things have come into play recently t- to to ensure that you know the safety of everybody that's in the school. And even break time, they won't all be kind of charging out in the playground and kicking the ball about. No, no. So we've, we've got staggered start times as well. So um, each year group starts at a different time, finishes at a different time. You have lunch times at a different time with different people that they can um, be in contact with. 
So it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Um but again something I'm looking forward to. It'll be good to get back into a bit of normality. Well challenges on and off the pitch, but I guess you welcome them both. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Why not? If life life can be easy, can it? But it'll be boring if it's easy. Good stuff. Connor Hampson, thanks a lot for your time. That's Connor telling us about uh, his hopes for next season and his uh, work away from football. Cheers, Connor.